Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm your host, Chuck. And I'm Marco. And today, folks, we've got a fascinating figure to dive into, a man whose contributions to the United States are often overshadowed by some of his contemporaries, but whose impact on the nation was enormous. That's right, Marco. We're talking about George Mason, a true unsung hero of American history. So, grab your history books, folks, and let's take a deep dive into the life and legacy of George Mason. To start things off, let's talk about George Mason's early life. He was born on December 11, 1725, in Fairfax County, Virginia. Ah, Virginia, the birthplace of so many influential Americans. But George Mason's story didn't begin with him, it began with his family. His father, George Mason Sr., was a prominent planter and landowner. Absolutely Chuck. The Mason family was among the colonial elite, and they had significant land holdings. Young George was fortunate to have access to a good education, which was a rarity in those days. Education, ha? Huh? Now, that's impressive. But Mason wasn't just book smart. He was also a man of many talents. He was an accomplished farmer, an architect, and even a musician. That's right Chuck. He designed his family's home Gunston Hall, which is now a National Historic Landmark. He was quite the Renaissance man wasn't he? He sure was. Now, let's move on to his life before the American Revolution. Mason was heavily involved in Virginia's politics, serving in the Virginia House of Burgesses. He was rubbing elbows with some important figures. You're absolutely right Chuck. Mason was friends with George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, two names we all know well. In fact, he even served as a mentor to young George Washington. Imagine being a mentor to the future first president of the United States. That's quite the feather in his cap. But Mason didn't stop there. He played a pivotal role in drafting the Virginia Declaration of Rights in 1776. That's a significant achievement Chuck. The Virginia Declaration of Rights served as the model for the United States Bill of Rights, which we all know and cherish today. Now, let's fast forward a bit to George Mason's involvement in the American Revolution. He was all in Marco, actively supporting the cause of independence from British rule. Absolutely Chuck. He served on Virginia's Revolutionary Council and helped to draft the state's first constitution. He was one of the driving forces behind Virginia's decision to break away from Britain. And that's not all. Mason was even a member of the Virginia Convention of 1776, where he worked on drafting the state's new constitution. His ideas and principles laid the groundwork for the American system of government we know today. That's right Chuck. George Mason's political ideas were ahead of their time. He believed in the importance of individual rights and the limitation of government power, principles that would later be enshrined in the U.S. Constitution. Speaking of the Constitution Marco, let's talk about Mason's role in the Constitutional Convention. Ah yes, the Constitutional Convention of 1787. George Mason was there, but he ultimately refused to sign the final document. That's a bold move Marco. What led to his refusal? Well, George Mason had concerns about the Constitution's lack of a Bill of Rights. He believed that it didn't do enough to protect individual liberties. He famously said, there is no declaration of rights, and the laws of the general government being paramount to the laws and constitution of the several states, the declarations of rights in the separate states are no security. So, Mason was a true advocate for individual rights and wanted to ensure they were protected at the federal level. That's something we can all appreciate. Now, let's talk about George Mason's lasting impact. While he may not have signed the U.S. Constitution, his ideas and principles heavily influenced its creation. That's right Marco Mason's insistence on a Bill of Rights paved the way for the first ten amendments to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, which guarantees our fundamental freedoms. And his writings, particularly his Virginia Declaration of Rights, continue to resonate with us today. He was a visionary thinker and a true champion of liberty. Well said Marco. George Mason's legacy lives on through the rights and freedoms we hold dear in this country. Before we wrap up today's episode folks, let's lighten the mood with a couple of jokes. Alright Chuck, hit me with one. Why did George Mason bring a ladder to the Constitutional Convention? I have no idea. Why? Because he wanted to make sure he had a say in the high-minded discussions. 
Oh that's a good one Chuck. All right, here's one for you, why did George Mason never play cards with the Founding Fathers? I don't know Marco. Why not? Because he was afraid of the Declaration of Spades. All right Marco, you win this round. That's a good one. And with that folks, we're wrapping up today's episode. Thanks for joining us on the History AI Podcast. We hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the life and legacy of George Mason. And as always, a big thank you to our listeners for your continued support. Please like, rate, and share the podcast, it really helps us out. Until next time, keep exploring history and remember the unsung heroes like George Mason who shaped our great nation. Wave goodbye to sugar-loaded boosts and say hello to Strike Force Energy. The energy drink additive revolutionizing how you power up, all without a single calorie or sugar. Just a squeeze, and you're set for action. Ready to make the switch? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com. And for our listeners, spark your savings with an exclusive 20% discount. Just use code UTSALAX24 at checkout. Remember, UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, elevate every sip. And we're back, folks. Thanks again for joining us, everyone. We'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.